Welcome back to How to Be a May Stage 2. Uh, right here we're just going to talk about what you're going to be killing and the basics of Stage 2. Now ultimately, if you're Stam, this could be difficult to buy because you don't have any shields. And that's fine, because I mean, uh, I'm going to show you something simple, or at least it's a more tolerable way to handle this. Now you're going to have everything coming towards you rather than you having to go chase it down. Now, to my right, you're going to see that glowing green switch. You're going to hit that at the end of every round, so that you can take that bleed off you. Because that bleed will do some damage, plus all the extra lightning going around, it really helps out. Mag isn't really going to have much of an issue, unless they end up wasting all their magicka and not being able to shield up as much as they should. I know I had that problem starting out. But yeah, once you find out that you can pull those switches, everything becomes a lot easier. So yeah, like I said, you're just gonna drop your AoEs, your elements blockade, liquid lightning, throw a haunting curse to anything that is remotely bigger than a dwarven spider, so a centurion or a dwarven sphere, and hit it with a haunting curse, because it's occasionally gonna be ranged for you. So that's so all you gotta do, and the small spheres and the dwarven spiders will 75% of the chance, 75% <laughs> of the time will come towards you rather than stay away from you. But yeah, you do gotta be careful about those Dwarven Centurions, they can do a knockback like we just saw now. And right here, you can, <laughs> can notice my little mess up that I didn't grab that switch. I didn't notice until probably the second rotation, I was like, oh no, I forgot the switch. But yeah, that's fine. Like I said, it's really beneficial, but it's not a must. But as you can tell, from the first round to this round, my health is a lot lower, and I do have to use my shield a lot more. Now that's the way without the switch. But like I said, if you make things easier, do so. That's why if you're going for a score run, then uh, you can just use these simple mechanics and just go through it all without using any of the extra buffs you see on the side. My mic just came off, that's perfectly fine. But uh, here we have the first boss. And we're gonna drop that AoE, then go back to that switch. And we're gonna have that boss coming towards us, rather than us going towards them, because it's a three... It's a three split boss, so basically there's three other bosses we gotta fight, and they all shield up while the other one is up. But if you notice, here in probably the second rotation of the bosses, one of them is two of them are gonna be up at the same time for about one to two seconds. That's why I use the death roll on them, so that it's still burning them while they're still up. Which could really help out with that bleed. Now occasionally you can see that mechanic being done by one of them is just going down to the middle and uh, doing what it needs to be doing. So you just stay where you're at, drop a haunting curse, drop a liquid lightning, do what you need to get it down as fast as you can. It's just throwing like small grenades at you. So here we're just rinsing and repeating. The thing that I like about this round is once you get to twenty percent, you can basically just execute them pretty easily at twenty percent. If you're a, a magma or something else with a higher uh, execute. Blades with the 25 or mag parts with the 50, you can just go up a lot faster, all depending really on how much magic you have. But yeah, here I am also using a second distro mainly to basically pick up my time, make things go a little bit faster. So that's it for this round. Remember, to use your switches and stay put and have everything come towards you. And like always, grab the chest, grab the gold, grab the soul gems, repair, and move on. 
I'll thank you for joining me for the second stage of VMA and at a sooner date I will be putting up the third stage because I accidentally did not record it so yeah please continue for stage 4